Hi, welcome to the second episode of King and Maiden's Story by Rumi. This story consists of many episodes, so please subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I upload a new video. In this video, first I read uh, this section in English and then I follow it with uh, Persian so you hear the beautiful musicality of Rumi's original language and then off, I will offer a short interpretation in the end. Uh, so a recap from the previous story is that a king uh, found a beautiful maiden, fell in love with her, took her to his palace, and she fell ill. Now uh, the rest of the story. A man owned an ass, yet no saddle he had. When finally found, the wolf had him as his meal. He had a pitcher, yet water was none. When water appeared, the pitcher undone. The king summoned healers from land far and near. The soul of my soul sickened, I fear. My life significant next to her so dear. Her wellness my kingdom, her ailment my fear. Who heals her restores the light of my day, shall be rewarded with treasures grand in display. So, so the king uh, finds her sick and asks anybody, all the physicians from all around the country to come and solve her problem, says that her life is so dear and so close to me and I'm in love with her. So if you, if anybody help to make her recover, I pay her anything. And now the rest of this. With confidence they vote their lives to risk. In their hands a cure for every blemish. But if God wills, they failed to confess, showing mankind's arrogance nothing less. The omission, not just words, but heart turned into stone, for many a soul, the saving grace unknown. Yet some in silence, aligned with the divine will, their soul in harmony, in quiet still. So the physician got arrogant and they say, we will definitely solve the problem. They ignored their uh, kind of limitation of their practice and they forgot to say God wills. It's always important that we uh, know that not everything is under our control. Now the rest. Despite their efforts, the sickness grew, a mystery deepening in the morning dew. The king's tear, a rivel of despair, for the queen of his heart beyond compare. Divine destiny, twisted remedies astray, what healed now harmed in dismay. Ox smell to bile, and almond dried the wane, myrblum and water adding to the pain. So uh, what happened was that every medicine that the physicians gave her made her feel worse and worse. Uh, and before interpreting, the, interpreting this, I will read this in Persian, the original language of Rumi, to understand the beautiful musicality of Persian language and see the journey that Rumi was going through through that melody. آن یکی خر داشت و پالانش نبود یافت پالان گرگ را خردر رو بود کوزه بودش آب می نامد به دست آب را چون یافت خود کوزه شکست شد طبیبان جمع کرد از چپ و راست گفت جان هر دو در دست شماست جان من سهل است جان جانم اوست دردمند و خستم درمان اوست هر که درمان کرد مر جان مرا برد گنج و در و مر جان مرا جمله گفتندش که جان بازی کنیم فهم گرداریم و انبازی کنیم هر یکی از ما مسیح و عالمی است هر علم را در کف ما مرهمی است گر خدا خواهد نگفتند از بتر پس خدا بنمودشان عجز بشر 
ترک استثناء مراد قوتی است نه همین گفتن که آرز حالتی است ای بسی آورد استثناء بگفت جان او با جان استثناء جفت آن کنیز از مرز چون موی شد چشم شه از اشک خون چون جوی شد از فضا سرگین سر کنگبین سفرا نمود روغن بادام خشکی میفزود از حلیله قبض شد اطلاق رفت آب آتش را مدد شد همچو نفت so look at the beginning of the uh, the poem for this uh, episode so he's he's talking about Rumi is talking about the fact that uh, the king possessing the maiden first and then uh, having her uh, falling sick is the same as, for example, somebody having uh, lack of water, uh, but the pitch is empty, with the, with the empty pitch looking for water, finding water, putting it in the pitch, and the pitch breaks, so they lose both water and the pitch. Um, it happens a lot in our lives. We get things and um, then the, the new thing that we get really brings a lot of challenges and make us even more unhappy. Uh, when I moved uh, countries once, I felt very excited about the position that I was getting and I couldn't sleep for a few nights. For months I was extremely excited. But then I felt uh, a lot of differences. I felt that I missed my friends, etc. So what was initially for me really like a prize became a burden because there was a lot of new problems that was attached to this. So Rumi is saying that um, the important message is not to get attached to things because when you get because life is very complex, you may get what you really wanted, but after that, you may feel even worse. So uh, we can always go for what we want for our goals uh, and get um, all kinds of satisfaction, but having attachment to those are the things that are really causing problems. Not being able to be in contact with our essence, with the, with the divine presence, not feeling the love of the divine would result in kind of misery because the physical world and the things that we possess and are attached to are subject to decay. And if they kind of, if we are so dependent and attach those things, we're gonna suffer a lot. The other thing is that, so the king brings everybody, like a lot of uh, physicians from all around the country, they come. The physicians don't, uh, admit that there are limitations to their practice. Imagine this is 13th century. Of course, there are a lot of limitations to their practice. They deny that. And they don't say, we will try to help this if God wills, uh, or if it's possible, or, 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 or like showing some sort of uncertainty. And because of that, uh, they get into the trouble. So uh, whatever they do in order for them, to see their limitation uh, and kind of understand their arrogance, whatever they do, whatever medicine uh, that they use turn to a poison. So the things that they give her have an opposite impact. For example, if they give her um, almond oil, she dries even more. Or if they give her a remedy or medicine that cure a problem, actually affect that problem and make it a lot worse. So please uh, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know where in your lives you got something that you were really attached to, really wanted. When you got it, you felt a lot of attachment, but after a while you felt that um, a lot of like difficulties because your attachment to that thing uh, has caused issue because either the value of the thing that you obtained reduced in your eyes or uh, or what you got was not really what you wanted or the things that you got 
deteriorated over the time. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to watch the new episode of this beautiful story by Rumi. Thank you very much.